five bit about no discipline if they are not true. Greetings fellow YouTuber, thanks for tuning into my channel. Today I'm going to talk about five myths associated with Nordisk India that are simply not true. Before we begin, I'd like to request each of you to give thumbs up to this video and if you haven't already subscribed, please click the subscribe button down below and if you can share the video, that would be really awesome. Nordisk people hate Indian culture and are highly westernized. Okay, India is a multicultural country, we have different cultures in India. Just because a particular tradition or culture starkly differs from the one we are familiar with, it doesn't necessarily mean it's alien to India, nor does it mean the people practicing those cultures are being anti-national, a very popular modern term by the way. And when it comes to westernization, it's not fair to singleize no Eastern people. Globalization has reached an impact each and every corner of India. Northeastern girls are shameless and are cheap. As I've said before, India has a diverse culture and what's considered shameful in some part of the country might not have the same effect in other part of the country. That being said, Northeastern girls are in no way cheap or shameless. They just have a different sense of fashion and style of interaction. Each and every community have cheap people. It's not just restricted to the Northeastern. Just ask on them and her boyfriends. <laughs> They only like to party and never studies. This could be more wrong, especially for me. See, most people have this sense of freedom once they are away from home. They want to enjoy every single moment of freedom that they currently have, which will soon be taken away from them. And we all have that friend who goes way overboard, and these lovely people often stand out among the crowd. They can be Keralite, Nordisterner, or even Punjabi, but they certainly do not represent their community. There are thousands of Nordistern nerds and geeks who lock themselves up in their room, including me. Seriously, I haven't even been to a party all my life, so please remember to hit the thumbs up button and bring a little sunshine to my life, please. They eat everything that moves. Well, I must admit, we Nordistern people do eat a lot of crazy stuff. Do you know we even eat bamboo shoot? Which is a baby grass, by the way. But Nordistern people certainly do not eat everything that moves. Are you kidding me? Yes, there are some people who eat dogs, but they are not the majority. Dogs are eaten by some people for traditional reasons, and there are some people who like to sip in some alcohol with dog meat. Well, I haven't tried it out yet, but it does sound fun. All Nordic people live in jungles. <laughs> this is my favorite. Some people think it's offensive, but I love nature, so I often take it as a compliment. Nordic people since time immemorial live in well-defined village and town with well-defined borders. No, we don't live in tree house. Nordic people are afraid of heights just as much as other Indians. It would be really cool though, living in a tree house. You see, the jungle living savage meat is a colonial construct and therefore is discriminatory in nature. Non Eastern cities like Guwahati, Shillong, Aizawa, Kohima, Imfa are thriving. But to be honest, Non Easterners live closer to nature, which I think is a good thing, considering the importance and significance of forests and nature, and how modern politicians are turning blind eye on climate change. Make me a soap store. Have a little Whatever you want. Grab him by the pussy. Melania said this was okay. So there you have your 5 minutes about Nordic India that are not true. I know I have left out many things and if you would like to contribute more, please write it down in the comment section below. I love hearing from you guys. Once again, thank you for watching. I'm Wadalung Zhuang. Remember your rights to information. Adios.